People in custody tonight following a dramatic and deadly shootout in Kensington. This all took place just last night. Ring video showing gunmen firing dozens of shots, killing a 17 year old boy who police say was riding a small motorcycle. Action News reporter John Paul has the latest on this investigation. You can hear automatic gunfire erupt around 8 p.m. Thursday on the 3400 block of Palethorpe Street in Kensington. Then a car pulls into view. The shooters turning the streets into a war zone, firing at a 17 year old on a motorcycle. Then you see one person jump back into a car with another car close behind. But the shooting wasn't over. Three minutes later, you hear more automatic gunfire and see people running. That black pickup truck was later stopped and several suspects were taken into custody. In the end, more than 80 shots were fired and a teenager was dead. <laughs> Edith Rivera heard it all. At first, she thought a car exploded. Her son realized it was gunshots. He says, no, it's gunshots and it's blah, 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 blah. I said, Anthony, come on, come on. He was going to shake in. They took cover inside as that gunfire continued. I've been here in 1983. I've never seen anything like this. Her husband saw all the shell casings and was shocked that more people weren't shot. A lot of us were scared because we all be out here. The kids, some kids be out here with their bikes. And it was early. It was around eight. Today, neighbors were cleaning up the street, now strewn with glass, bullet riddled cars, and even the bike that neighbors say the victim was riding. Police say at least three different guns were involved, including an AK-47 style rifle. Five magazines were also removed from the scene. One appears to have been thrown on a rooftop. Now, police haven't released any details about the victim in this case. We're also asking more about the suspects. At police headquarters, John Paul, Channel 6, Action News.